Hello and welcome to Oxfordshire, Alec Wilkinson's yard, to be specific. And we're going chopping a bit of grass, hopefully, with the 1260. So some of you might have seen on social media, came across on the boat with the Big John Deere 4755 and the JF 1260, or the Conskildi 1260, for those of you who want to be pedantic, actually, sorry, because Alec wants to chop a bit of grass. And he does have a Mech 6, but uh, he reckons he wants to upgrade from the Mech 6 and he wants to try out a slightly bigger trail machine. He doesn't want to go self-propelled. He is adamant that he wants to stay with a trail machine. So Garrett said we would bring over the 1260 for him to try out and see what he thinks. And uh, yeah, we're going to stick her on Alex 8520 and have a bit of fun. Right, she's off. He had to use a 7 8, 10 to take it off because I think the 85 wouldn't start. You didn't hear that from me. I, I, I hear it in the shed now though, he must have put it on charge. But, uh, right, I have to pack up all this gear and take off these outriggers off the trailer on bolt and put them away because I'm fairly sure my next move is to leave this forager here, go back to Yorkshire and pick up the 4755 that I left at the show and bring it to the Welsh show. And it wouldn't shock me if this harvester never again left this yard, if you know what I mean. The checkbook could be coming out if Alec gets on okay with this, I'd say. Look, he's just putting on the ripped overalls now, so he looks busy. Yeah, I, look, I, look, I look hard off. These are more comfortable than ones that haven't got holes. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose half of these photographs of Alex are going to women's magazines, are they? Top shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't film that. I'm why why did you take off the ripped overalls again? It's because Nigel was slagging you. No, because they were more ripped than I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to look busy, but not poor. No, I am busy. <laughs> and I am poor, but they were hanging off me. <laughs> uh, right, are you going to tell us why you dragged me all the way over to the south of England with a trailed forage harvester in the rain? Well, we're doing a bit of chopping now, about 500 acres. Not 500 acres right now, like 500 acres no, all no, together no, in a the, year. No, for the season. So we're not doing we're not doing a big acreage. And I hate self-propelled foragers, and and I have a serious hatred for them because they're they're diesel hungry and people hungry and money hungry. So and I love trail choppers. Always run a flywheel chopper from Mengeli 30, 40, um, and now the Mech 6 that we've got. So I says to Gareth, we need to come up with a way of chopping grass short enough for an AD plant with a trail chopper. So this Your Mech 6 won't chop it short enough and no. it won't reach into your walking floor trailer? No, that's the problem. So you're so looking for a trail machine that will do that? That will chop short and blow it in the walking floor, hmm. in the field. And you said, why not try out this Conskildi 1260? Yeah, so he said, I'll send Kane down and he's a top mechanic, he'll make it work. <laughs> We still, we still had to call an expert though. <laughs> it was supposed to be set up when it got here, but... Uh, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't really. No, we had a, we had a <laughs> real good guy called Dave Cox from our local New Holland dealer. Um, who's a brilliant lad who does a lot of implements. Um, and and he, he looks after the same chopper for a friend of mine. So I rung him because I knew he'd had some experience. So he's come down and we've reset the drum um, and moved it back and pushed all the blades out. So we're getting as much blow as we can get out of it with a new set of blades and a good shear bar. And slow down the feed rollers. And we've slowed down the feed rollers and we've made sure the hydraulics are um, set up for power beyond. So we've done all we can. So you're, ho you're aiming for 10 mil chop? 10 to 15 mil, and no more. And this machine by the book can do around 11, it says. It should be able to get down, 11 is an average. So, I mean, you can't chop every bit of grass the same length. It just doesn't happen. So 
what we're looking for is an average of 10 to 11 mil. So there'll be some at 15 and there'll be some a bit shorter. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do. Because I'm determined not to buy a self propelled chopper. <laughs> <laughs> but, surprisingly enough, yeah. you haven't put it on a 7 or 10. No, well, I wanted to. Um, but Gareth says it'll need 300 horsepower. Yeah. So we have 360 horsepower. In an 8520? Yeah. That's obviously standard, like not at all. No, she might have had a small tune. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's still running the 8.1 Powertech um, block, but she is all woman. <laughs> So then have you, have you bought silage trailers for doing this crack or are they just your grain trailers with silage size on them? Or we, you we, cha trailers? we changed one of our grain trailers to another silage trailer. So we've got a Stuart 16 tonne and we've got our Bailey um, 15 tonne with silage sides um, that we used to have anyway for moving compost around. So that's all set up for silage and we've just hired two new Richard Westons oh, yeah. just to do this job because it's a long haul. And if, and if Nigel um, gets his act together, He'll be carting as well with a walking floor. Yeah, if the ground is good enough. If the ground is good be. enough, but it's been, you know, we've had some serious rain in the last week. So we, we don't know if we can use the, the truck yet until we get some ground cleared tomorrow. Yeah, and you did buy a rake? And we bought a twin rotor class rake, yeah. For the real boss? For the, for the mega boss, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so Doogie. Rumour has it that uh, Doogie's going to be sick from school tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> I can't rotten now. <laughs> he is the rake man. Oh, he's the he's the head rake man. He's top rake man on the firm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With his with his ex grassman seven seven ten. Yeah, with Gareth seven seven, yeah. That's yeah. his tractor. Right. So at the minute we're just we're waiting for this weather. So stay stay tuned for the next <laughs> next stage of plan. Yeah, this is this is um grass arable grass spec demonstration day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, deal. I'm out here learning, lads. I'm learning about tillage. L learn me about barley. Is this barley? This is winter barley, yeah. Learn me. What do what we need to know? Well, it's, it's, you see it's well necked over. See, yeah. see all the heads have bent right over. When they're sticking up like that, it's not fit. When they've necked over like that, it's, it's good to go. See, you've got the nice grains. So it's, it's, it's real leathery though, it's damp. So it's, it's bad. Fit. Well, it's fit, but it's not dry. See, it's nice and white and flowery. Oh, yeah. It's good. So it's really it's it's good, it's good to cut. Drying. Just wants to cut. Just wants a day and a half of sunshine on it. She won't get it this way. I don't like it. <laughs> you bite into that, so it's hard. It's not milky and fluffy. It's good to go. Can I eat this? Am I going to die if I eat this now? No, you won't. <laughs> Make alcohol out of that. How can you die? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend. Well, well you, you distill wheat and you malt barley. Why can't you malt that? Because you don't malt wheat, you distill it. Hey, well, why can't you? Because why you just no can't. <laughs> because that's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, why has no one done it? Well, because you make alcohol out of weed. See, there's sort of a few heads on the floor now. That one's cut. That was on the floor. So, so you're starting to lose it, like? Yeah. Yeah. So with the, this is what happens to barley in storms. You see how it's. So these straw. The straw stems are snapping off. Finally knocking some grass. I think we've missed we've missed about four showers this afternoon, so <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be getting some grass down. After you how long have you been here now? Three days? Feels like a month. Don't be like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it'd be nice to see the chopper going tomorrow.
I thought 10 series didn't break down. Kane, it's only you, Jay. <laughs> Come on. She is 26 years old, cut her some slack. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I've chosen to stop it if it goes bad. Sure. sure. <laughs> You've had to pull out the Pride and Joy. She is. This she is, is your own, your personal safety attempt. She has broke cover. <laughs> I don't normally let anybody drive it. I heard it does no work at all, only that tractor is not runs. true. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what's the verdict? You got to buy it off me. It's got, it, it, some of it's, some of it's brilliant, and some of it's not as good as a flywheel chopper. Yeah, look, you're not going to get the blow over flywheel, but like, no. your flywheel isn't going to chop short enough either. Well, we, we need to try a Lely 300 stone first. Yeah, you're, you have big notions about this Lely. I have, I've, I've got high hopes, but to be fair, this is, this has gone a lot better than I thought it would. Like, to be fair, the chop blend is fairly good now. It isn't very, 10 mil, but it's no. fairly good for a it's, trail machine. It's very, very good. And I've heard back from the AD manager, and he's very happy with it. Yeah. So, I mean, they're looking for an average. They're not looking for every bit, because that's not practical. But look, it, it feeds. I mean, we've got the gearbox slowed right down on the feed rollers. And it's still feeding lovely. It, it just gobbles up the lumps. Um, the spouts not amazing to control it's a it's a bit soft it's not very um what's the word responsive we're going to blame your power beyond for that that's a little just, bit harsh just, <laughs> we're going to have to just blame you for that anyway okay <laughs> but look it's, that's the um, best excuse i can come up with i'm sorry i've um you know i've always had this is the first drum chopper i've ever used and and i have to say it does chop grass yeah I mean, now you'll see them. We'll get on some decent rows in a minute. It um, it does blow some stuff out of that spout. It's going well now. To be fair, though, she's all tuned up. I mean, you wouldn't get. I, I've never used a trail chopper that goes as well as this one. Yeah. See, there's one half of me is like, oh, I'd be grand now if Gareth sold it and it stayed here, and I wouldn't have to drag it back home and put on the outriggers and all that. <laughs> but then the other half of me is like, it'd be such a sin. Now that we finally have her going and chewing up to not have a <laughs> not have a back at the yard for a goal like. Yeah. And and to be fair, when you were doing your first cut last year, it did go well. It went alright, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad, like but there, it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't didn't have the blow, but it was only a half set of knives in it. No, but it, it wasn't chopping as well as this. No. Perhaps it's the fact that the the old um, the old technology engine just doesn't die like the new one. Oh, shots fired! <laughs> shots fired! <laughs> Well, you reckon this would have more grunt than the 7 r 350 No doubt about it. More torque. Because they'd be on the same horsepower, like that 350 yeah. boosts to 380, and you've this mapped to 360. Kind of 360 but it, your, your 360 would be a raw 360, whereas that would be a be. soft old 380 without it, wouldn't it? Would be. This is, this it's is, a fake 380. <laughs> this is raw and angry. <laughs> <laughs> the 7R is tamed by AdBlue. Yeah, and it's dampened. It's strangled, isn't it? It's like having the handbrake on all the time. Yeah. But you're loving life today, anyway, this yoke. Chopper this, grass. Yeah, this is the first time we've had the big tractor um, on the chopper. We're, I've always chopped with a 7, 8, 10. With the Mech 6? With the Mech 6, yeah. So, yeah, this is good. Yeah, she's... I mean, the tractor's not even... You know, it, it changes tone occasionally, but it's not even groaning, so she's no. she's going real well. Would you not have dropped off the load rock 7 a 10 for the day now? It's a sin to be up bouncing it's up not, down the road. It's not the loaders the loader's got soft ride. That's the that's the smoothest track here on the farm. Yeah? 
Yeah, that's why that's why Andrew's got it because he's one of the one of our um, older generation drivers. And, uh, <laughs> he loves it. That tractor is so nice to drive for the TLS, really? the TLS and the smooth ride, man. Just look at it. Oh, <laughs> it's the biggest quickie loader they would put on that tractor for me when I ordered it. Looks to be the biggest quickie loader you can buy. The sizes. <laughs> Well, What's it lift? Three ton or something? It lifts. It'll well. Put it this way. It'll lift more than you can keep on the the back end on the floor. Yeah, yeah. But it's brilliant. We use it for carting around seed and fertilizer. We've got a bag lifter that go on there. It's got a JCB hitch. And um, like you can load up 18 ton of fur on a big Arctic trailer, and, and away you go. So this isn't your first time in Grassman. You're no stranger to the channel at all. No. But it's, nothing it would, has really changed. It would seem not in however many years Grassman have been coming here because it's still just the yard of Land Rover Discoveries <laughs> and John Deere 7 a Look, this is a time warp. This is an educational center to all the youngsters that I come was here. actually <laughs> shocked to see you had a 30 series in the fleet. There's an A330 in the shed. Yeah, we bought that two years ago now for Martin. Martin and Christian are my two main men. And uh, Martin drives the one of the Lexians. He's having a new Lexian this time. Well, new to us and because um, the 600's gone. So Martin drives the 8330 and he did have a six metre combi drill on it. Yeah. And I'll pay go, but I've just sold that and I've just bought Martin a eight metre Porsche. Yeah, so you're keeping the combine you had last year and Martin's getting your prize. Yeah, Martin's, well, it's Martin's old one that's gone, so he thought he was getting mine, but I said, no, you have the new one. Yeah. That's only fair. <laughs> You probably want to have the oldest one anyway. I do, I like mine. I get used to it. I'm not a creature that deals with change very easily. No, you are You are the definition of stuck in your ways. <laughs> no. I was thinking about this last night. I was like, I don't know if I ever met anybody as stuck in their ways as you. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not. We're always trying something new, like doing all this silage and different cultivations and different kit. But I do, I just love my tractors. And when I find something better, with the same depreciation as we're running, with the same reliability, I'll change. And until that day, I've no intention of change. Yeah. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, I can't really argue with that. So have you ever spent this long in England in one go? Yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah? It was over. Oh, for the and, show. And the same. No, it was like him over for that dino day in Cumbria and I ended up staying for like nine days. Oh, right. Cool. Same crack, parked the truck in, in somebody's yard and lived in it for a week. Yeah. So. I'm a bit of a gypsy, like. Yeah, yeah, I can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> you're Shots very, you're, 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 you're a very posh gypo. <laughs> and how did this silage shop come about? Like, you had to make six, you were always doing a little bit of silage. We were always doing a bit, a bit for a local dairy farm, a couple of little jobs, and then we got approached to have a, get involved with the local AD plant, and, um, they wanted us to take digestate um, to use as fertilizer, which I wanted. Yeah. And then they said, well, would you like to supply us um, with feedstock? So we looked into it. I didn't want to grow maize. Why? Because of elk, because obviously growing cereals is our main business. Yeah. And um, and obviously it's very important. And I didn't want the maize harvesting clashing with the with all the land work and the drilling. Right, would you be afraid of maize that take too much out of the ground as well, in a rotation, or...? Yeah, on our thinner land like this, yeah, definitely. You know, this isn't this isn't grade one land. We're, we're farming all grade three, you know, very average Middle England soil. This is very brashy, so it's got a lot of stone in it. It's free draining, but it's not great maize ground. Well, I did ask you this morning if this was a quarry that had been filled in or something. There is a few stones we're not going to chop it, so I'll have to say sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so I, we just decided that some grass in the rotation, keep chopping it, take away the black grass and the weeds and the silage. It, you know, we thought we'd give it a go, and so far, I'm very pleased with how it's fit, 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 fitted in with the farm. Yeah. So how many acres have you got in grass now for this crime? Um There's just this one block at the moment. This is... Um, 112 acres in this block, just in four fields. So it's a nice block of ground. We can get the lorry in. Um, we can run it on the walking floor if we need to. We can get the tankers in to bring the digestate. So yeah, it just seems like a good place to try it and see how we got on. What going forward, you will have to move to another block and yeah, we should be moving this block next year. So we should move it around the farm. 
and um, you know, pretty keen to get involved with AD a bit more in the future. I think. I think it sort of fits in well, gives gives the soil some different crops and different nutrition. Yeah. But there is something about glowing grass. It's the noise. It's the home of the forager, is what it is. It's the purr of the tractor. Maybe. Maybe. What engine is in this A520 now? This is still the 8.1 Powertech engine. Right. Um, this is the same block in a 7810. Yeah. It's the same block. It's a different fuel system, different head, because these 20 series went to, they were common rail. Yeah. So it's, so they're not, you know, they're not, you know, it's got a fuel rail rather than your standard manual injector. Yeah. Like in that tractor. But the block is the same. And then you've got a second 8520 in the shed. Yeah, we have two. Two eight fives now and an eight four twenty. We have an eighty two ten, which is she's a bit of a mega star. The eight two ten. Everybody loves the eight two. She's gone to some lads dibs or formal or prom or whatever you call yeah. it today. Yeah, the it? young lad that's coming here for harvest, young Fraser. He's taken her off on his on his prom, picking up his girlfriend in the eight two. I mean, the boy is literally living the dream. The only the only way he, that could be better now is if he had the four series maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, but at 16, he's a bit young for the four series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Doogie's little 7710 I bought off Gareth normally does like this, the raking, the topping, you know, and yeah. she does it perfectly well. Except for today. Except for today. Well, it hasn't actually, hasn't actually broken down, but... <laughs> It's, it's, I'm not worried because Gareth gave me this 20 year warranty yeah, we talked yeah, about, yeah, so yeah. it's all fine. But all it's, <laughs> it's done, it's actually spat a UJ out of the prop between the engine and the gearbox. Is that the first time it's on? First time, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah and it's done 11,700 hours, so I'm not going to show at it too much. Yeah, yeah. And it's not it's not come apart, but it's, it's rattling, it's getting bad, so you don't want them to let go because that's expensive. Yeah, but come here, dude. He's not too happy about it, no. No, he had a right. Like he's slumming it in your 7 8 there. Is, he is literally, he's at the bottom of the barrel today. He's got my, <laughs> the pride of the fleet. He's got my tractor and he wasn't happy earlier. <laughs> like, as far as he's concerned, you're adding on if you haven't got the old tire paint on and all the lights, <laughs> all LEDs, the, and all the bling. Your, your TikTok name on the window and stuff <laughs> like Do you know, he's. He's getting a bit like you, Kane. He's, 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 he's becoming a social media megastar. <laughs> so what's here now then? Six, seven, eight, tens? Uh, no, five. Five, seven, eight, tens? Five, seven, eight, tens, yeah. Mine's on the rake, there's four on trailers. And the other one, oh no, there is six, because the my 50K, well, more my 50K's on the front and back mowers, yeah. Is that the only one from PTO? Yeah. So she has to go on the mowers? Yeah. It was on the, that's a factory fit from you, so that's, there wasn't many came out of the factory with, from PTO. Most yeah. people put it on afterwards. And would you put, would, would you think of fitting a front PTO on a second one now as a backup, if you were doing this grass like? Yeah, if the, if the grass gets much bigger, we'll probably put another, another PTO on my one, because she's, she's like the most power out of them all. So if I want to get a set of triples one day, we'll probably make that the mowing tractor. You mean, when you get a set of triples next year, <laughs> if we get a set of triples. When you get a set of triples. When I get a sub off Gareth. <laughs> I'm sure we could start someone out to give you a set of triples on demo for a year, like. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> so you have four, four 7 out 10s drawn. Yeah. How, which ones are 50k? Or any uh, of them 50k? Just, yeah, just the one that Paddy's on. Because my other 50k is on the mowers. Oh, so young yeah. Paddy, he's on the... He's Next on the, Irishman for the 50k? Yeah, they're done that. That's, well, she got new tires yesterday as well, didn't she? She had new set of fronts on, yeah, new 628. Them two Richard Westerns are hired, aren't they? Yeah, we've just hired these in for a few days. We got, it's a, like a 16 mile round haul. Yeah. And then the Bailey is yours? The Bailey and the Stuart are mine, yeah. yeah. So you'll take side sides off them for the harvest? Um, definitely the Bailey. We've got three other trailers, three other grain trailers, another Bailey, a root spec one, a long low one. Yeah. Which is quite handy for tipping in some of our low sheds. Um, and then we've got a, a, just a standard Richard Western grain trailer and a little Easterby, which is quite an unusual make now. They're a family firm from up in Yorkshire. So yeah, we had that. We've had all the trailers new. Yeah. So when a trailer t comes here, it, does, it tends to die here. Yeah. Is there a good value now in just hiring the trailers? 
we haven't got used for like four silage trailers, what we're doing. We only needed them for a few weeks, so obviously we've been parked up for 10 days with the weather. Yeah. So rather than, rather than get rather than get other people in with tracks and trailers, we just thought we'd go and hire a couple of trailers and see how we get on. And you know, they're like 80 quid a day. I think they're quite good value. Is that all? Yeah. Yeah, that does it does make sense to just hire them then, yeah, doesn't that's it? that's a, what's that, a 28 grand trailer, 16 ton, high speed, on air, all the flaps and LEDs and drawbar and, you know, that's not going to be a cheap outfit, is it? No, no. So, you know, I can't justify a trailer like that sat about. Like, for these jobs where you need extra, you know, a couple of extra trailers, the hiring seems to be quite a good job. You know, you just pick, you pick them up, use them, take them back. You know, and I can put, I mean, it's nearly 60 grand sat in those two trailers, so I can put 60 grand towards another seven, eight times. <laughs> no, like a, you know, a chopper or a set of triples or, yeah, it's just yeah. money better spent. And then the trucks then, three trucks now. Yeah, we have the, my four series that you went for spinning yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And um, we have the two R series. We've got the little 500 tag out in the field now with the floor on. She's on full air, manual, old school spec, yeah, yeah. axe spec. <laughs> How was the staff issue now this year? Yeah, it's been, the last couple of years, you it's struggling been, to get lads or? Last year, last year was a bit, it was a bit last minute dot com because we had like four different lads had taken them. We always have two extra for the summer, sometimes three. We had two lads take the job and then they let me down, changed their mind, better offer, whatever. So then we re-advertised, we advertised early and then both of them backed out. Advertised again, sort of start of July. One just never turned up, the other one backed out. So then I advertised first week in August, you know, and I was really, I was starting to panic. Yeah. We advertised again and, and Gareth had shared a, a job advert for me on the Grassman page. And, and just luck, we had a, an older guy who lives the other side of Oxford. He came on and he's coming back this year. He'll start probably in a week, 10 days time. He was brilliant. And young Paddy, who you were talking to earlier, um, he came over from Ireland because he's, not, he's only like half an hour from... from yeah, he's Karen Lock, yeah, yeah, half an hour from, from Grassman HQ. And he came over at, right, I mean, we, we'd already cut the barley and, and the rape, and we were just about to start wheat when he came, so he came just in the nick of time. And he and he did really really well, and he's back this year. So, and he, but um, he's going to stay for the full season. You know, yeah. He's sort of back on time. So yeah, no, it's been this year has been relatively easy for a change. But, I mean, I, I I don't think I know out of the out of the thirty or forty farmers I know, there'd be perhaps two that have found finding staff easy again this year. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have a go at loading Nigel. Right, I'm going to let you concentrate on loading this truck. We'll finish it up and I might go get the drone and try and film it. It's going to take you like half of what's left in the field to fill that thing. It'll be all right. What is it, 100 and something cube? No, it's, um, yeah, it's 120 cube, yeah.
Well, he's, he's not going to land on your finger in here, is he, Dowie? It's not going to land on your finger if you stood outside. Well, he might have hit the windscreen. <laughs> um, that's a nice trailer. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a kite going sideways. <laughs> that is, yeah. Nigel, did you hear that noise? Yeah. What, what's that, what is it? V8, isn't it? It's my truck ticking over. It's your rattly old V8, isn't it, rattling over? Do you know why it's ticking over? Because I'm going to collect 7710. I thought you were the big truck man around here and I have to do your work. It's not on, Nigel. You take it to 7710? Yeah, I have to go pick it up. Have you? What are you doing all evening? I've been, I've been busy. Oh, yeah, you're too busy, is it? I've been flying the flag, mate. <laughs> flying the flag. It's not good enough, Nigel. Do you know what I mean? I've been flying the Getting flag. Getting us Irish over here to do the work for you. you got to get a combine as well. No, no, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be qualified for a big job like that now. Too big, isn't it? <laughs> you going to chance it, no? Aye. You going to chance it? No. <laughs> Big tang around here, and I have to go to. I have to go pick up the tractor for you. I heard he sold it all over because you, you weren't able for it. I don't know. I drive the lorry holding the flag in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
It's wet rain. Yeah, as opposed to dry rain. Yeah. <laughs> Rather wet. Wow, what a disaster. I, I kind of forgot the camera moment, so I'm just going to leave that there and uh, drive okay. steady, please. Okay. <laughs> no, no, so, yeah, okay. So you're like head um, convoy specialist? Yeah, I like that. We're yeah, con convoy yeah. specialist, <laughs> convoy specialist. No, we're uh, es just escorting mine. That's what we're doing today, just escorting. Escort. I didn't want to use escort. the word in case fellas got the wrong idea when I said escort, but look, no, you no, said it now, not, so. that, not that kind of escort. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the head escort man? I'm the head escort man. Cotton. Every 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 time like or do you no, ever drive the well, combine? No, no, I no I don't very often drive the combine, no, no, I'm usually on cultivations or ploughing or something like that. I wouldn't corn cutting. Um, to be fair now, you've mine. been stuck at a bit of everything this week while I've been here. Yeah, I we sort of all seem to do a bit of everything really. It's not really a mine and Alec tend to drive the combines, that's sort of their that's like their job. Yeah. Um, and Martin and Alan do most of the drilling and spray it. I do, me and Martin do all the spraying and stuff like that. But yeah, we all sort of muck in and there's no real one person to a job sort of thing. It's everybody mucks in and helps each other. So. Yeah. I don't, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't say I was the escort man as such, but everyone sort of mucks in and helps whoever's there at the time to help move will help move. If I'm there, then yeah, I'll do it. If, you know, any of the summer lads are there to do it, they'll do it. If Alex just moving one combine, Alec might do it. You know, it's just sort of, as and when and who, really. Yeah, because when I was here the other day, when I came first, it was raining like it is today. Yeah. And you were kicking stones around the yard, I would say. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, then, but then, when the weather dried up, you were mowing. Yeah. You were on the loader. Yeah. You were doing just a bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, you were on a trailer at one stage. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was yeah. like musical chairs here. Yeah, it's like jack of all trades and a master of none of them. That's what I am. <laughs> you seem to like to mow one, though. I do like mowing. By the looks of it. Yeah, yeah no, that's, no, a, no, that's, that's a nice setup to seven, eight, ten with double mowers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a lovely setup. That is, it, get, it sings along beautifully that seven, eight with them two mowers on. That is, that is, that is the mowing outfit. I think that is. Ah, uh, I don't know. What about triples, though? You reckon she'd handle a set of triples? Oh, dear. you reckon? Not a bother. If you're in that grass you were cutting the other day, but I don't know about that, some of the first cut stuff we did, I think that she'd be struggling a little bit. Nah, out there, but... so I'll... no way. I think so. Um, so that's 7 8 10 year more, that's the only one with a front PTO? At the moment it is, yeah. Is yeah. she tuned up now or is she standard power? No, she's standard, that 7 8 10. Ah, yeah, sure. Um, triple more is going to tune up for her now when you're laughing. I think, I think if he gets a set of triples, his plan is to put them on. We have got another 7 8, that, that, well, his one, that has been chipped slightly. Slightly. Um, I say slightly. <laughs> has been chipped, and I think his plan is to put a front PTO on that one eventually. I think that's the that would be the, then become the mowing tractor. I think. But will he forward. trust you with his seven eight ten to come on? That's the real question. That's, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have driven it, but it is. I do feel like I've. It's it's a real big responsibility. Ah, <laughs> uh, you surely you surely gained his trust now. How long are you working with Alec now? Uh, so I worked for Alec. I worked for him for nearly two years before, and then I've left and I've come back again. So I've been back here for this will be my third harvest, but I've been here for seven months now yeah. since I came back again. So and what's your job then for the harvest? Do you want a trailer? Uh, I will be at the start, yeah. And then once we get some acres down, I expect I'll probably end up on the nine six again and cultivations. Oh, yeah, and yeah. he wants to think we're planning to do a bit of ploughing this year as well. So there'll be quite a bit of ploughing to do. So. We're doing a bit of ploughing and cultivating and yeah, and then corn cart if they need me and if they don't, then yeah, cultivating and ploughing. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yesterday you were on the order. Yeah, it's a good it's, it's I have been... to pull over somewhere and put the rear light out so see the right hand one's folded in. <laughs> Mark's got problems. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no worries, mate. We'll pull over when we get we'll just get off the A we'll get off the uh, main road here and there's a big label on the FOSS we'll pull into. Yeah, we very, very, very impressed with that actually, to be fair. Um yeah, there was a few people throwing a few doubts at the start, but I think it's yeah performed very well, really. Um, it's, it's fantastic for clamping, I suppose. I, it's the only bit of clamping I've ever really done, really, was about 418, so I would Yeah, you've already experienced on a pit No, no, that's the sort of first time I've sort of been left to it on my own and to do it, and yeah, I, as far as I can tell, that's been a very good machine, really. It's, it pushes well, it, you know, you can get up on the clamp nicely. Um, ideally, you'd probably say it probably wants a set of decent tires on the front, but as it is, it's been yeah, been fine for this year. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that might be a next year thing, but yeah, this year 
yeah, it's been. I suppose it's a nice. It was a nice clamp you were doing though, because it wasn't too steep or anything. Like it was just no, like a big hump for all the worlds. Well, that's it. Well, we did. I did. We put the first cut grass in there, and we sort of made it into like a bit of a big speed bump. Really, I suppose is the best way to describe what it looked like. Yeah. Um, so we just added to that. Really. Do you drive trucks at all? No. No. Any interest? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do it. It's just so much money. They, you know, we, we were quoting, getting me, putting me through my HDV, and it was, we're t you're talking over three grand to do so it. That's only a week's wages around here. <laughs> I wish it was only a week's wages. <laughs> if, <that was> <laughs> if that was a week's wages, I'd be doing very well. <laughs> so, yesterday, when I picked up the 7 7, and we got back to the yard, we were missing a beacon cover. So I checked the GoPro footage and it fell off around here somewhere. <laughs> Can we find it? It was that tree, wasn't it? It was that tree, yeah, it was it. I think it would stand up like a saw thumb, wouldn't it? Yeah, like unless someone picked it up. There it is. Where? Is it intact? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Show us. Mint! Straight back on that one. <laughs> Mint! 